All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com, and today we're going to be talking about pictorial. So this is going to be a super quick video, just a, a quick demo. Um, so I'm recording this uh, a day before the day you're going to be watching this, which you should be watching this on the morning of uh, Wednesday the 16th uh, in 2017. And the reason you're watching it on Wednesday is because this is the day in the morning that Pictorial is releasing their new feature for Pictorial 3. It is a uh, film simulation bundle called the Pictorial X-Pack. It's for Fujifilm users. So I love that software companies are now really recognizing that Fuji users are taking up a pretty big portion of the market. And so they are answering to that. So I'm not going to uh, waste time talking. I'm going to get straight to the point. So if you're in Pictorial 3 here and you go down to this little develop module, you'll see the camera profiles. Normally you just have a couple of Pictorial standard profiles in there or a pictor uh, one called Pictorial Neutral. But now if I click it after I've installed the X-Pack, we have all the familiar Fujifilm film simulations that we've all come to love. We have the Velvia, we have Provia, Astia, uh, Acros, which is my personal favorite. Uh, my two favorites so far are Velvia Vivid and Acros. So let me just give you a quick demo here. So let's just apply the Velvia Vivid to this photo. And look at that, in my opinion, okay, it's just a, a the, the X-Pack is kind of a one-stop shop uh, for people that just wanna get quick content up on social media without having to worry about a lot of um, devoted time to editing. Now, you guys know that I really like um, editing photos and spending a lot of time in Photoshop and things, but I take a lot of behind the scenes photos for my blog, a lot of products uh, to put on the blog for product reviews, uh, a lot of documentary photos for location referencing, and I like those photos to look pretty. I don't just upload the raw JPEG, but I normally, let me reset this, I normally go into, you know, an exposure panel like this, and I'll normally crank up the contrast and pull down the highlights and crank the shadows and, and boost the, the color a bit in here, and I'll normally get something that looks like this, and it'll take me, you know, a few minutes to get there just so that it looks nice and presentable for the blog. But I love the fact now, because I specifically love the Fujifilm simulations, that I can just come here to Velvia Vivid, uh, Provia Asti, whatever one I want to go with. Like I said, I like Velvia Vivid, and boom, it's just a, a one-button click, and I would e export that right now uh, to the blog. Here's a cool part. Uh, you can start with one of the film simulations and then uh, edit it from there. So for example, if I start here with uh, Velvia Vivid and I say, hey, the shadows need to be lifted a bit, then I can go in here to the light panel and crank up the shadows. And now I have the Velvia Vivid, but I'm kind of editing it and going off of there. So that is also an option. Let's of course take a look at a couple more. So let's just go down the line for a minute. There's Provia. Okay, there's Astia Soft. There is Classic Chrome, okay, kind of a nice desaturated contrasty look. Let's just skip everything and go right to Acros. I love Acros. So what's cool is um, you get the Acros film simulation, but if you're in a kind of a weird lighting situation and you want it to have more or less contrast, like I said, you can start with Acros or one of the other film simulations, go into the color or the light panel, and I can just crank up the contrast even more. Crush the black some more, make it super contrasty black and white. I can raise the whites, I can do whatever I want. Take down the highlights. So you can always start with a film simulation now and then kind of go uh, on your own little creative journey and edit it however you want. So let's just take a look uh, how these film simulations uh, react to a different kind of photo. Let me just pop this up here and we'll just choose one of these. This is a old like rusty, beer bottle or something of some sort that I uh, came across in the forest. I thought it was kind of cool the way the light was hitting it. So let's jump to Velvia Vivid again. Nice. Go to Provia. Just, you know, I'm just going to jump right to Acros. Oh, that's, I love it. It's the, the shadows in Acros are just really high contrast, buttery smooth. Uh, and in my opinion, uh, now that Pictorial supports the film simulations for Fuji uh, RAF files, um, I think that they are, I mean, about, about as accurate as you can get to the actual film simulations. So uh, I think everything works perfectly. You also have Acros yellow filter, red filter, green filter. So if we just kind of go through those for a minute, you can see those. Monochrome yellow filter. So there's a there's quite a few different options for your style. I, my two I found are Velvia Vivid and Acros. And those are probably the two that I'm gonna use for 
uh, quick stuff to throw up on the blog, social media. So uh, if you guys want to know uh, more about what I think about the X-Pack and more importantly, what I think about Pictorial as a company and as a software um, and kind of my thoughts on them, kind of a review of their company, uh, check the blog post in the description. The blog post will talk about the X-Pack here that just released today and it will talk about them as a company. If you've never heard of them or if you're kind of wondering if you should get into the Pictorial market and, and purchase their software, uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at that blog post in the description and that'll kind of give you my thoughts. Um, other than that, they were really, really kind and gave me a huge discount uh, for you guys. So if you don't already own Pictorial, uh, then in the description, there is a link that if you click it, it will save you 45% off and it is specifically for uh, my viewers and followers. So I have a a uh, follower of mine that follows my Facebook page, and he is also a personal connection uh, of mine inside of Pictorial. So uh, he he told me about this X Pack. He let me use it a few days before they released it here, so I could try it out. Um, and he also said, "Hey, you know what? Take this for your viewers. It'll save them forty five percent on the bundle." So what's cool is if you don't already own Pictorial, that this specific discount of forty five percent off is for the bundle. So it will get you Pictorial and the X Pack. And I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe the regular price for the bundle is around $85. And if you click the link that saves you the uh, the 45% off, I think it becomes around $45. So it's a huge savings. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting the X-Pack. It's just nice to have. Even if you're not going to use it all the time, it's really nice to have those, uh, the film simulations for your, X, for your uh, RAW files because they do support the Fuji RAF files. And we all know how hard it is to find good raw processing softwares out there that not only support the film simulations, but also uh, render RAF files properly for Fuji cameras. So uh, that was it, guys. Just wanted to do a super quick demo. Let me uh, go through one more time. We'll go hit the, uh, the Acros. We'll just sift through a couple more. If you guys have any questions about this, of course, leave them in the comments. That's a nice one, the uh, classic Chrome. That's a really nice kind of desaturated, uh, like a rustic -y vintage look there. So uh, yeah, if you guys uh, have any questions or anything, uh, leave them in the comments. Make sure to uh, use the discount code in the uh, description if you want to save uh, any money. Uh, again, I didn't get paid or anything to say this or do this. Uh, I'm not getting any money from them if you use the discount code. It is specifically for you guys to enjoy. Uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my photography videos and free tutorials, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to improve your photography, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.